what's up y'all so i'm on my evening stroll and i know i'm not strolling but um down the list when i stroll i like to go um have a seat by the water as you can see the water back there um sit by the water and just pray and meditate and clear my mind and stuff like that so while i was here i wanted to hop on and talk about the friend zone the dreaded friend zone and let me just say this i personally don't believe that the friend zone exists and i'm gonna tell you why when a person expresses interest in another person that person and that person says no i'm gonna say the person says no you got three choices you can be like all right cool since i can't date you i don't want nothing to do with you i don't want to get to know you i don't want to be in your life any type of way so you can go on by your business you can say okay i'll be your friend and sit and wait until that person is vulnerable to try to have sex with them or wait until they're vulnerable to try to get in their relationship and deal with them on that type of level or even ruin the relationship they in if that's the case and the third thing you can do is respect that boundary and say hey i really enjoy this person's company i enjoy their friendship i respect them i like having them in my life so what i'm gonna do is genuinely just be their friend and then in that friendship you release the need to be with them and then you go do you so you go date you go have fun whatever it is those are the three choices you're not in the friend zone if you choose to stick around and wait for a person to choose you wait for a person to um have sex with you any of that at that point you become a predator and if that's what you want to be and that's what you want to do that's all well and fine um more power to you but don't walk around talking about your in the friend's friend zone um don't walk around here talking about oh he or she whatever it is that you like to date is playing and tripping and all that kind of stuff like either you're friends or you're not friends i think the flip side to that is the person who is establishing the boundary of friends they got to stand on that and they got to mean that um they can't do it as a way to try to manipulate and use a person to get free food or trips or whatever else like if that's the boundary that's the boundary now if in that friendship this friend wants to do nice things for you this friend wants to pay for your meal this friend wants to pay for your vacation if they got it like that that's another thing but at no point should you be leading a person on to feel like they got a shot for any reason so um i'm gonna leave it at that i don't really have like too much more to even go on about that either you are a friend or you're a predator you got to choose which one you got to be but stop being people's friends with the intent to get more out of the situation than was offered but as always be love be light be joy be peace be kind you never know what a person is going through in their day so you just might be the person to start the ripple effect in of kindness throughout your community and then your community can change the world but yeah that's it peace no such thing as a friend zone